Hi, this is Stephen from Owner Disso. Today, NVIDIA announced their new Ampere cards. The RTX 3090, the 3080, and the 3070. And I'm sure you've heard by now what amazing performance they bring to the table. We're talking, you know, 70 to 85% performance gains in non-ray tracing game, uh, games, and about a 90% increase in ray tracing games. Now, this was all shown by a Digital Foundry, and I do recommend you go to his channel, watch his video, and I will add a link to it in my description. But what about mobile Ampere GPUs? Well, to be honest, I am hoping that they will be shown off at CES in January, you know, followed perhaps by a March or April release. But what can we expect in terms of performance gains from these mobile GPUs? And is it worth buying a laptop today? Well, as you know, the main issues for laptops is their thermal headroom. Ampere GPUs seemingly need a lot of power. Now the RTX 3080 needs 320 watts, whilst the laptop 2080 is 850 watt part. So we have to bear that in mind, and we will not even get close to that level of performance. In order to estimate the level of performance we get, we have to use the new RTX 3070 that has a TDP of 220 watts, as this is very similar to the 215 watts of the desktop RTX 2070 Super. And we actually do have some data showing the difference between the two. This chart shows the 2070 Super in the left bars and the 3070 in the third bar. If we focus on non-ray tracing, it looks like the 3070 is about 38% faster than the 2070 Super. Now there are many benchmarks out there comparing the, the desktop 2070 Super with the desktop 2080. And suffice it to say, the 2080 is about 5% faster, which means that the RTX 3070 will be about 33% faster than the RTX 2080 desktop card. So how do we correlate to what this means for laptop cards? Well, fortunately, if you go to notebookcheckcare.com, they have a bunch of game benchmarks for different video cards. So what I did, I selected seven games using the 4K resolution, ultra graphics, you know, so I can rule out any influence that the CPU might have. Now across these seven games, the RTX 20 desktop with its 215 watt TDP averaged, averaged 60 FPS. Now doing the same analysis for the laptop 2080 with 150 watt TDP, we get 54 FPS, which is a 10% reduction. I then did the same analysis using the laptop 2080 Max-Q with a TDP of 80 watts, and that averaged 33 FPS, or 45% behind the 215 watt desktop 2080. Now we have to figure out what an 80 watt RTX 3070 will do. So this is where you know, we have to come up with some assumptions. Now we already know that the desktop 3070 will be about 33% faster than the desktop 2080. So I added those frame rates into the chart. So let's assume that the 80 watt laptop 3070 is also 45% less than its 220 watt desktop counterpart, like we saw with the 2080. And this is what I show in this column. In the last two columns, I show the frame rates from the 2070 Super for laptops and the 2080 Super Max Q. So an 80 watt RTX 3070 Max Q looks to be on par with a 2080 Super Max Q. And that usually runs anywhere from 90 to 105 watts. Now on the face of it, it does sound a little bit disappointing, but you know, should they push it to, to the same wattage, you know, at 90 to 105 watts, we could be seeing 150 watt uh, RTX 2080 performance in a 15 inch laptop. That would, you know, that would be absolutely amazing because currently those are reserved for big 17 inch spear moths with two power bricks to carry around. Now that leaves the $6 million question, doesn't it? Should I buy a laptop today or, you know, should I wait? Well, I think if you're thinking of buying a mid-range gaming laptop, perhaps one with a, a GTX 1660 Ti or an RTX 2060, and the price does go down to the 1000 mark, because let's face it, Nvidia did promise that would be the case. And I think in that sense, that would be, you know, that would make sense because, you know, we don't know how the lower end cards will perform and, you know, you don't lose as much in resale value when you sell a cheaper laptop. However, if you are thinking of spending $3,000 on a 2080 Super Max Q laptop, this could be a different proposition. Now that laptop will depreciate quite a bit, you know, when these new ones come out. So it has to really be a laptop that you really do like. Anyway, let me know in the comments below, you know, what your plans are and whether, you know, you're excited to see uh, what these new um, 
and these new RTX 3000 series uh, lap, uh, these cards will bring to the table. You know, thank you for watching. Remember, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.